It's a summer ritual. Heck, I went through it. You probably did too. A lot of teenagers want to spend part of their time at a seasonal job, you know, just to have some cash to spend over the summer and then when they go back to school to have some, you know, funds in the bank. Well, finding that summer job is not always easy. Even with unemployment in Duval County below the national average, 3.6% locally versus 3.9% nationally, a lot of Jacksonville residents, especially young people, are having a tough time finding a summer gig. In fact, the national unemployment rate for youth between the ages of 16 and 19 is 12.9%. And for young adults between 20 and 24, it's at 6.9%. Well, Shalonda Rucker with Eckert Connects Workforce Development right here in Jacksonville is here to help you. Hey, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So where do you start? I want to find a job. I don't have any experience. How do I get my foot through the door? Well, I can tell you, it's a, it, it, the, with the unemployment rate being low right now, it's super important for young adults and teens to connect with their community-based organizations that are really advocating for young people in the workforce. Um, they're helping them to, to gain the skills that they need in order to prepare. Um, many young people just, they're, they're trying to enter into the workforce on their own, and there's opportunities there, but there's also a lot of preparation that needs to go into place so that you can be an effective employee when you go into um, into a job. Do they also not understand that sometimes you got to pay your dues and yes. maybe the entry level, level job that you, you think is a little beneath you is the one that you should go for? Absolutely. We have all had to pay our dues. My first job was with Wendy's. Um, I think the service industry is often the entry level opportunity for youth and young adults into the workforce. And I would encourage them to find their passions in what they want to do, look at the opportunities that, that are there, and their next best job is going to come from being employed with one of those entry-level jobs. They are interacting with customers, entrepreneurs, businesses, and every day there is a, uh, you're on a job interview. So you have to demonstrate an ability to be the best at what you're doing in that moment. So isn't, isn't there an old cliche, and I, you know, e even for people who've been in the workforce, when you go to a job interview, dress and act like you're going for the job you ultimately want, not necessarily just the job you're applying for. That is absolutely right. Um, the young adults that we work with at Eckert Connects, we really train them and make sure that they have appropriate clothing and attire. Um, a lot of times that, that dressing appropriately begins when you're seeking a job, um, when you're going to apply for a job, that's their, their first initial reaction to you. So it's super important that they are already dressed appropriately and ready for that uh, next opportunity. And you think, okay, I'm working in a fast food restaurant, but you've got to communicate with customers. You've got to relate to and connect with customers because you're also a salesperson. Absolutely. So one of the things we do um, at Eckerd is we train the young adults. Most times you hear teens say, well, how can I get a job? I don't have experience. And they won't give me a job because I don't have experience. One of the things that we do in, in collaboration with Career Source Northeast Florida is we help our teens and our young adults gain skills through industry uh, credentials. So they're going into that food service industry. They're going to go in with a safe food handling credential. Um, they're also going, if they're going into retail, they have the opportunity to get a National Retail Federation customer service credential. Those things help teens and young adults understand the industry, they can speak the language of the industry, and although they don't have experience, they walk in the door with a skill set to sell. And you also help them network because yes. it's often not what you know, but who you know. Absolutely. It's, most times everyone has a network of individuals. They have peers that are working, they have parents that are working. Accessing that network is the number one op way to get a job. Um, so we're, we're definitely promoting that they uh, connect with their, their family members and their church and their community. And Shalanda and Eckert are there to help you out. Where do you go to help land that job that you know is going to set you on the road to the future? Eckert Connects Workforce Development Jacksonville will hold an open house today. Starts just a couple of hours from now at 1030 to 130 at the Eckert Connects office at 1301 Myrtle Avenue. Don't have to pre-register, just show up, right? No, you can show up. What we're doing is you're going to get an opportunity to meet some of our young adults. It's a success um, event that we're having, and we're going to celebrate some of the young people who have come through our program and successfully obtained opportunities to work and enter into their career path. And we want to invite the public to come and learn more about who we are and what we do to help young people 16 to 24 go into the workforce. Okay, your job is to get out there and say, hey, I'm here. Help me out.